A biofilm is microorganisms, so we're talking about bacteria or yeast, for example, banded together in dense aggregates and usually stuck to a surface. This is, we think, a ubiquitous ancient strategy of microbial survival and persistence. The Biofilm Center studies lots of different environments that, that have day-to-day -day implications for lots of people. The center has been involved in research with antibiotic resistance, uh, dental plaque, indwelling medical devices in humans such as catheters. One of the things that the center has a real strength in is actually just understanding or in coming up with ways to study biofilm. So as scholars in, in, in science and engineering, we're supposed to share and apply our knowledge. And I think that's how, why the centers continue to grow is because they find different ways to do that in different systems and because of what we do is so applicable both to fundamental science and applied science. One of the things we do is to do contract testing or research projects for industrial sponsors. Some years that's a million dollars a year of activity, so it's pretty significant. And those projects, we're bringing our expertise in working with biofilms in the lab to help a company develop a product or solve a problem. And, you know, these are real world problems. So um, that's, that's, I think, one of the important ways that we transfer technology and transfer expertise. One way that it's uh, really expanded is in the number of students who are involved. You know, that's one of the things that the NSF originally charged us with is not just to be a research center, but also to be an education center. We really involve students as, as early as we can. We get them involved in research, we get them involved in how we think about the research, and then we let them have hands-on experience, and we think that that's crucial. As we continue to investigate how the biofilm mode of growth challenges our current understanding of biology and we're going to push the envelopes I think even of fundamentally how we how we understand biological systems and why they are the way they are